All right, the next important thing, guys, is the billing. Uh, and this shows up every single time in the exam. So you can reach it from here, billing. But I just, the sidebar is not very me friendly. So I just go there from here. And now go check out these options. Uh, they don't really show up in the exam, but the one that shows up is budget alerts and billing export. So we're gonna create a budget. So GCP YouTube account budget. Uh, and you could do it just for one project uh, just for, let's just do it for Azad's YouTube demo, but you can, let's do it for all for now and then we can create more uh, if this chapter is small. Then again, you can do it on a per service basis, like you can just create it for Google Cloud, Google Cloud Data Flow and all um, like this. So next, now you can specify specified amount, that will be like a fix sum that you can compare against or you can say last month spent. So if last month you spent $50, that's what it would use as a limit uh, for this budget. I have never used the last month, but it depends. So I'm gonna save, say $10. Now, this is the important part for us, not for a company, but include credits in costs. We have $300 in free credits. If you leave this option checked, let's say you incur $10, it's going to be less than the free credits you have. So you are not gonna get a message. But we wanna keep track of the credits that we're using. And so we are going to uncheck that box. And now there are three thresholds. You can specify more, but these are by default three thresholds. Uh, and you can set it to trigger on actual or forecasted. So actual is basically your actual utilization or actual bill is $5. So that I'm gonna leave it there. The rest you can use forecasted and that's what I use. So I don't want to know once it's already 90%, I want to know before it goes to the 90%. And here, just doing this is going to uh, create our billing alerts and that's all there is to it. We can also create connect a pop up topic for this budget, but we will cover that in a pop up uh, lesson. And there you go guys, uh, the billing administrator will receive these alerts and like in our case, uh, it's all one and the same thing. The different types of users and kinds we will cover when we go into the IM section. Now, in the next section, another very important exam topic is billing export to BigQuery or file export. And we will cover that in the next section.